There was an old couple that lived here. They died last winter. Yeah, the old lady died of cancer again, and the old man just gave up. He didn't want to live no more. I'm a good person. Like, what did I deserve to get cancer at 17 years old? What is making people in Fort Chippewyan sick? Heavy metals, arsenic, mercury, cadmium, zinc, iron, naphthenic acids, you name it. The genocide of the Fort Chippewan people is at stake. There are so many of our people dying of cancers that are so rare, according to our doctor. My gut feeling is there has to be some connection with the industry and what's happening here. Alberta sits over one of the largest recoverable oil patches in the world, second only to Saudi Arabia an area larger than England. It holds at least 175 billion barrels of crude bitumen. Digging the bitumen out of the ground, squeezing the oil and converting it into synthetic crude is a monumental challenge. It requires vast amounts of capital. In short, it is an enterprise of epic proportions, akin to building the pyramids or China's Great Wall, only bigger. Now, there's nowhere else on Earth where we're talking about destroying an area the size of Florida. There is nowhere else on Earth where you have toxic ponds that are so big that you can now see them from space. The Alberta government has no clue as to the actual state of the Athabasca River. But we're not going to have any clean drinking water in these mountains if these guys are allowed to get away with what they're going to do. Oh my god. There's nothing in there. Let's just go. I really do feel uh, the great economic boom is going to be a great economic disaster and devastation to our land and people. We've dabbled with nature for so long and we screw it up every time. Leave it alone. 